Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here doing my Birchbox unboxing for the month of November. And unlike ones in the past, I actually didn't take a sneak peek of anything that's inside here. Truthfully, because I forgot my Birchbox login on my new phone, but that's besides the point. So needless to say, I'm really excited to see what's inside. And if you guys wanna see what's inside this Birchbox this month, then keep on watching. So already talking about the like color scheme and like I don't even know the theme for this month's box. Um, I really am digging kind of like the, I don't know, kind of color palette I would call this, but I don't know, it's just the box itself is really cute. This would actually be something I'd use to really like, re-gift. But, so the pamphlet says, ready to kick off the holidays, go on and pull all the steps with an entirely new look for the busy season ahead. So a lot of new discovery products in here is my assumption. So the first thing I'm gonna pull out here is a Living Proof Style Lab TBT Multitasking Styler, and this is a styling cream. So we know how I feel about Living Proof products. They are probably my favorite hair care line that I have tested out. They are, they've they held strong and true to their claims and their needs, and I'm really excited for this one. This says to apply to wet hair to blow out, apply to dry hair to tame or deconstruct. And according to the pamphlet, it says it's more or less an all-in-one styling creamer. So, so next inside our Birch Boxes Month, we have here, what is this? We have a Marcel Hydra C Eye Contour Gel Cream, and this is what it looks like. It's supposed to help lift the under bag eye area and I guess maybe brighten this. Vitamin infused cream. It's got cucumber and plant extracts, and it just more or less is an eye cream applied around the eyes morning and night, and maybe we'll see some difference. I know recently with the new job, which I will do an, an entirely separate video on that in due time, um, my 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 schedule has completely changed so trying to figure out routines and figuring out what's going to work best for me your girl's tired all the time so i have been trying to use more eye cream products just to kind of help brighten the under eye area so hopefully this will uh, make the cut so next inside our birch box here we have what looks like a liquid lipstick from smashbox and this is the always on liquid lipstick in the color driver's seat. Now I actually already own this and this is among one of my favorite liquid lipsticks ever. <laughs> I um, This has been my go-to for a lot of looks that I've been trying to complete. It's a very cool, like almost terracotta color. It's a very pretty nude. It kind of almost gives me like pumpkin spice vibes. And there's been a few videos that I've worn this in. Like I said, it's one of my favorites. So this is definitely gonna be a stockpile item being that I still have a ton left of the other sample I got eons ago. So always, always a good thing when they start to resend you products you've got before, but they're good products. So next inside our Birch Box this month, we have here, what is this? A Laqua & Co blush highlighter. And this is in the shade Peach Peacher's daughter, I guess, and this is what the color looks like. So this is a hybrid. It is a blush and a uh, highlighter together, and it's very creamy. Ooh, oh, that's really pretty. So I went ahead and I swatched it on my hand here, and it's very, very creamy. It doesn't smell, so don't get your hopes up when you hear peaches, <laughs> but. Yeah, I'm not usually a um, blush type of person. It's very minimal when I wear blushes, and it's a lot of the time a mauve color just to kind of counter set the rosiness in my face. Uh, I'm not somebody who usually wears blushes. Um, again, it's very minimal if I do, but yeah, I'm excited to test it out. The last product inside our Birch Box this month is something from Juara, <laughs> and it is the Candle Nut Body Cream, and this is what it looks like. So this is supposed to be a super hydrating uh, moisturizer that softens the skin. And it's got candle nut oil body cream that is supposed to penetrate dry skin and it's supposed to make a huge difference. I'm somebody during the winter months that I get the scalies on my elbows and my knees and I'm always trying to stay hydrated but that is usually easier said than done. I have been using my bum bum cream and it's still my true top favorite of the year but unfortunately it's rather on the expensive side and it's something I like but I use so much of it that like it might be time to start finding something new 
and we'll test this out and see. I'm kind of interested because if it is something that has a lot more hydration and it really penetrates the skin, it might work better for me. But needless to say, we'll give this a whirl and see how it ends out. So. so that was everything inside my birch box this month. So thank you guys so much for watching. It's always truly appreciated. If you like my videos and if you like my content and if you like me, feel free to subscribe by hitting the button down below and getting notified when I get new birch boxes. So in all, this month's box was kind of a good one. I have a couple products in there I am really excited to test out, um, especially that uh, candle nut oil body cream, just because I am looking for something new to not replace the bum bum cream, but to um, kind of incorporate when I don't want to use the bum bum cream. So there are some things in here I am excited for. And yeah, so for this month's box, I'm going to go ahead and give it, oh, let's give it a B plus. It's not completely out of the park off the get go, but maybe those products will surprise me. So. so thank you guys again so much for watching. Take care. Love you always. And until next time, we'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye.